Hey everybody, it's Melissa and Stephanie and in honor of the first day of fall today We're bringing you guys our fall lookbook featuring our favorite fall trends So not only are we going to share with you guys our favorites But we're also going to give you tips on how to incorporate them into your fall wardrobe So one of my favorite trends this fall is the 70s inspired looks and what this mostly consists of is high-rise flare jeans and to make it more wearable, it's going to be really hard for you to find high rise flare. So instead, I opted for a natural rise flare. And I got these at Plato's Closet for $12. And so what I wanted to say to you guys is that trends are always reoccurring. So before you go out and buy a brand new pair of flare jeans, look in the back of your closet, check your resale shops because they have a lot of cheap, reasonable denim flare jeans that you can find. And then the second part of the 70s trend is the 70s printed tops and so if you don't want to do the flare you can always just go for a 70s printed top like this and it just has a it's more of a tight print than like a big bold print and you could throw this on with a pair of skinny jeans to make it more wearable if you're not ready to go and dedicate yourself to flare <laughs> favorite trends this fall has to be the loafer heel and a few weeks ago in one of our videos I was like uh, I'm not a fan of the loafer heel but I've been seeing them everywhere and I have crossed over to the dark side I got these loafer heels at last chance for $14 and what I think is great about them is it kind of makes that menswear feel with a feminine touch so if you guys aren't like a big fan of wearing just straight loafers this is the heel version of it which makes it more wearable for us girls trend is the whole new grunge look and I've been getting so many questions asking what new grunge is like if it's the old grunge and what new grunge entails is taking feminine pieces and mixing it with bright plaids stripes bright printed patterns and meshing them together and throwing on a huge deconstructed cardigan so if you think about it it's just like a huge bundle of stuff but it actually really works. So for my whole new grunge, um, the pattern that I'm loving this fall is stars. So I just picked up this star dress at my local Goodwill and I'm planning on throwing some like bright colors, some shredded sweaters over this and really rocking it this fall. see every fall has to be corduroy and I cannot do the full corduroy pants because I would not be able to move in them so a good alternative is the corduroy short and I know that it's gonna be getting cold outside but what's great about them is you can layer leggings or tights underneath them and it can give you a completely different look while keeping you warm at the same time
big trend for fall is primary colors, which are blue, red, and yellow. And when we think of primary colors, we usually think of the brighter versions of them. But for fall, we want to tone them down. So my favorite fall color right now is mustard. And most people think you can only wear mustard tops and slacks, but the truth is a lot of stores are now bringing out their mustard colored outerwear. So I have a mustard colored anorak, and I got this at last chance. Now if you're not really into the whole deconstructed feel of outerwear, you can always opt for mustard colored double breasted peacoats or mustard colored blazers. <laughs> spring and seeing the fall collections, the most vivid one in my memory has to be Vera Wang's because it was exclusively parkas and anoraks over dresses and that is probably where my love of the anoraks started. I have about five of them in different colors and I just got this one at last chance. What I like about them is they can really be worn with everything. You can take it with a dress and have that juxtaposed feel or you can wear it with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and it's really going to work with almost everything in your wardrobe. And this piece that I have right here is the perfect example of a color that's very in for fall. And it's that burnt orange color. Hopefully it shows up on the camera. And this is just a nice little sweater that I bought at Forever 21 for 15 bucks. And not only is this a great example of color, but it's also a great example of the kind of crochet knitted cardigans that are really in. And also light cardigans are very in because you can layer them. trend this season has to be the Lux Tux and it's basically a play on menswear with a mix of feminine touches. So I got this blazer at Goodwill for $6 and as you can see the lapel is all sequined which is a nice touch. It's great because if you're one of those girls that doesn't like putting on like a frilly dress you can wear a Lux Tux and have that menswear feel but you're still gonna look really pulled together. <laughs> 